Have you ever said to yourself or others, I'm just a mom? Have you ever wondered what your purpose is in this world and if you're influencing anyone? Through this series, Fabulous Friday Feature, we're here to let you know that you are so much more than just a mom by featuring moms who are just like you and who we think are making a fabulous impact on the world. Motherhood is one of the most influential jobs on this planet. In addition to being moms, the women here we're featuring on this show have tapped into a pure joy within themselves that has enabled them to serve themselves, their families, their communities, and therefore the rest of the world. The women on this show are pebbles that cause a ripple effect of positive change in the world. It is my pleasure to bring you our fabulous Friday feature. Hi, this is Jessica Dugas, intuitive mentor of moms in the Moms Online Mastermind community, where I help you to reduce stress and overwhelm in your life so that you can live with more joy. On today's show, we're welcoming one of my newest friends, Heather Clark. Heather is the owner of HomeAndOfficeDetox.com and helps people clear their lives of unnecessary stuff so that they can create space for the things that are really important. Heather offers unique services to meet her clients where they are, and I, for one, couldn't be more excited that she's bringing her business online so that those of us not local to her can benefit from her amazing services. Join Heather and I now as we talk about how and why she finds joy in home care and why she thinks you should too. All right. Thank you so much, Heather, for being with me today. I'm so excited to have you on um, one of our Fabulous Friday features because you are one of my newer friends, yet quickly becoming very influential because this is totally not my deal. So um, I'm really excited and um, thank you for being here and I want to jump right into our questions today. Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. So I always like to start each show with a moment of gratitude, asking you to mention any mom, it doesn't have to be your own, who has influenced your life and why. I would definitely have to say my best friend here locally because she, while I was going through some difficult times or whatever, she was always had my back. She had my back throughout this entire business, the whole thing. So I definitely kudos to her and the fact that she has a house full of girls. Kudos. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And I love how um, so many of us can really um, have that gratitude for, for other moms that have become friends. And then they're, it's like this motherly, friendly, meshy, messy, beautiful relationship going yeah. on. And so I love that. I, Absolutely. <laughs> all right. So I have to start with this question because I am not a born organized person. Um, you and I have discussed this at length and I truly struggle to find the joy in cleaning and organizing. So what in the world would make you choose a line of work like this? I just have to know how your brain works. Okay. So it's funny because so many people have said this to me. They're like, <laughs> why do you, for, cause I also have a local cleaning and organizing business as well. And the cleaning business started because I was like, I got fired for the first time in my life, not because of anything else, but because of my kid's schedule. And it, it wasn't working for them. So I was like, okay, well, what am I gonna do? My girlfriend's like, well, you like to clean, why don't you start your own cleaning business? I was like, done. So here I am years later where I wanted to bring it online. So I was like, okay, what can I do? So I started with the organizing part online, but I'm like, you know what? People aren't following through the organizing. Why is it, why is it? So I realized that it's actually the decluttering part that people have the biggest, setbacks with and so I was like okay this I know I can help with like this is something like I am somebody who can take you from step like take the big picture go step by step and actually make it actionable so mm -hmm. that's basically and I actually enjoy doing it so really yeah that's clear. what I'm trying to figure out right there that's <laughs> That's the part I'm not seeing coming together. No, but it makes a lot of sense for real because um, for me, like I can see with us, we have a household of eight people. That's a lot of stuff that accumulates. And I always feel like, you know, mopping a floor or vacuuming a floor or washing down something isn't the hard part, but it's this whole process we have to go through with everybody's crap everywhere to move it out of the way, then clean, then put it back, then this, and it's like, it spirals out of control really quickly, especially when you do have a big family like I do. It's, it's, it's 
completely insane sometimes. Oh, absolutely. And especially with the kids, they're growing up fast. So they've got stuff that they grow out of, or they've got stuff that they no longer play with, or they've got stuff. So it's just, it's, you don't want to organize that stuff. You want to clear out the stuff that's no longer being. Right. Okay. So who needs help from someone like you? I mean, I know I need help from someone like you, but how much of an issue do you think this problem is in the world of this clutter issue that we get into? Uh, honestly, I think it's a huge, it's becoming, especially in the Western society, I find especially, so North America, all that stuff, we're, we're consumers. We consume a lot. We buy, buy, buy. We try and keep up with the Joneses. So it's like, uh, where do I start? And that's basically what it is. is it's a lot of people where it's like, where do I even start? And there's people like, you know, I've got clients in Australia, I've got clients in the UK, all that stuff. And it's just people who want to finally get a hold of it because it's taking over their mental life, their emotional, their finances, all that. And they finally want to get rid of it and clear out the physical and the mental as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it truly does affect every part of your life. And it's, and we get kind of caught in this trap and I, and I can speak to this from my point of view of, of having this issue of where we, we wanted, we know, we know the effects of it, but then you, like you said, we get overwhelmed and we're like, we'll just forget it. I'm not going to do anything because I don't even know where to start with this. Like, I don't even know how to start. And I know one day you said to me, just do like, just do 10 things because that's better than doing nothing, you know, put away 10 things. And so, um, I think we, we complicate things for ourselves with this, like oh, everything else in our lives, right? We sabotage ourselves. Well, the other thing is it, the job can see like physically you can see it. It's so overwhelming. So you're like, where do I even start? Yeah. And it's like, that's where I come in where I'm like, okay, let's zone in and start mm -hmm. here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, so tell me what makes you passionate about your work. Again, I'm having issues connecting the dots here, but when, what, what makes you passionate when you wake up in the morning and, and what makes you excited about doing another day of work of what you do? Because I see the transformation. I can literally see when you finally physically clear out the clutter, I see the transformation from people, whether it's their business, their lives, their families. Mm -hmm. I literally can feel the transformation and I know it's coming and I know that there's setbacks that come with it, but that's also still part of the change that I'm seeing that people are making this about the people and the relationships versus the things. That's mm -hmm. why I'm passionate about it. I love that. And I, and, and I too would love to see that shift more from worrying so much about things and, and worry more about people and the relationships that we have and, and how much more time we would have for ourselves and for other people. Yeah. That's like, that's like huge in, in my work is mom saying to me, I don't have time. I call complete BS on that. You're not using your time wisely because we're all given the same amount of time in this world each day. And so how is it that some are accomplishing things and some aren't. It's those, those choices that we make, you know, and that productivity, I think. Exactly. And it's also making sure that you're scheduling the time because if you don't schedule it, yeah, of course you're not going to make time for it. Yep. Absolutely. You have to hold yourself accountable and say, okay, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Now. Exactly. So I want to have a moment of gratitude for your personal strengths. What do you think sets you apart from other people in your line of work? because I'm trying to make it about the people and the relationships versus the thing. So I'm not coming in saying, okay, let's organize everything and buy all the pretty boxes. I'm like, no, let's use what you already have. Mm -hmm. You do not need more stuff. That is the, how you got into here. This is how we got into this, you know, the whole wanting to declutter and stuff like that. So, and that, and I think the personality of me is understanding where people are coming from and understand that there's that transformation that needs to happen in order for it to go forward and stuff so mm -hmm. and i was gonna I, I would say that about you too just from having worked with you and then also when we do the bring your own clutter party because i've seen how you work with other people you really do take an individualistic approach where like for some other people you might be able to say 
please just throw that away. And then for like someone like me who gets emotionally attached, you're like, okay, let's think about this. Let's, let's process it. And so coming at each of us differently and understanding that some of us truly do get this emotional attachment um, and need a little bit of an extra like fluffy hug as we're going through the process. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fluffy hug. That's awesome. Reminds me of like a marshmallow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, and that, and that's the thing. Like that, that I think is what I've, all the years I've worked with people, all the years I've you know managed and stuff like that. I've managed a lot of different personalities, but this is where it sets me apart. Is I can take somebody who, okay, I just need to get done. I need it done, 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 done. Okay, then let's do it this way. Or somebody. So it's very much left brain, right brain, where I'm very. Literally, when I've taken tests, I'm very equally in both. So I can take the approach, the spiritual, or I can take the logical approach. So therefore, I can, you know, mix the two together and, you know, basically adjust it to my clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, I, I love, you know, the approach that you take to things. And I love that, um, I really think that the... Um, the clutter parties that you do are really such a, a different approach too. We couldn't just pick one thing for this question. So <laughs> no, but I, think, I think that the clutter parties are really cool because what you really do is give us an opportunity, especially, th especially those of us who have had shame in this area of our lives and have guilt about it. It allows us to be with other people that are going through the same thing and you know, going through the same process to us and we don't feel as alone anymore. And it starts to take some of that negative emotion, I feel like, out of the picture. Do you find that for, for most of your clients? Yeah, and that's that's where I'm finding because a lot of people have that, oh, I don't have to do clutter, I have to do this. And it, it becomes this negative emotion, this negative mental clutter as well. So you're putting the mental and the emotional clutter on top of it. It's all negative. Where I want to change it so that it becomes something that's fun. And that's why I started these declutter parties because of the fact that it's like, listen, yes, it may have felt that at the beginning, but I'm trying to change it because now you're with the people, you're in a safe space. You have somebody with you that, you know, you can ask questions. If you come to like an, oh my God moment of, I can't do this anymore. We can discuss it, you know, in private chat, or we can discuss it, you know, in a separate room that I have on the zoom and stuff like that. So it's always something that I'm trying to create that safe space for everybody because people are ashamed about it, which you shouldn't be because I, even I get clutter. Mm -hmm. It's just, I know that I, where I need to start and that's where I'm trying to help people. So that it's fun, it's enjoyable and you know that it can be done, started and finished. Yes, absolutely. I love, I love everything about it so much. So if you could give someone just one piece of advice or a tip today that could encourage them to start decluttering, start somewhere and get more organized today, what would that one tip be? I literally say the 15 minutes or the 15 items. If you can find 50, if you've got that 15 extra minutes, go put 15 items back or 10 items or however many items back. It's getting into that habit. It's that mind to motion, motion to mind setting of doing something. Yes, you may only have those 15 minutes, but guess what? That's 15 minutes extra of stuff you've put away or things you've decluttered or put in a box or something like that. Or challenge yourself every day find 15 items even if it's only 15 let's say you've got an obsession with pens or markers or something even if it is 15 markers that no longer work and you've tossed them mm. done be proud of the fact that you've done those 15 things and I love that because even um, we can even start, we can get down on ourselves about that too. Like, um, you know, I know there's other like fly lady and some other um, people that uh, have decluttering things. They all talk about the 15 minutes, but I always would question myself and say like, but it's just 15 pencils or it's just 15 pieces of clothes. It, like, I think it has to be this big deal again, sabotaging myself so that I don't even get started. Um, and so I love that you, you get specific and you're like 15 things, lady, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, like that's where the, the, the loving, but yet the, no, it is, it's still that 15 things that you didn't do yesterday. So there you go. Give yourself that credit. Make sure that you're giving yourself that credit for those 15 things. Because that's the thing. It's those 15 things you just let go of. That is, and you keep doing that on a consistent basis. Guess what? Eventually you're going to look back and go, holy crap, I got, 
I let go of a lot of stuff in my house kind of deal. So it's, it's giving yourself credit for that stuff. Yes, I love that too. Reward yourself, surround yourself with people that are going through the things you're going through. Start somewhere, start small, start with something little and find somebody to help you like Heather because that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, I like I've it. got your links above if people want to connect with you, but if you want to let people know like what you have going on, what kind of services you offer, how they can best um, use your services, let them know that now, and um, so that way they can click those links and connect with you too. Awesome. Okay, well, the biggest thing that I'm doing right now that I'm trying to is the declutter party. So what I'm trying to do is take a spin on the declutter party and this decluttering, the whole thought about it, and doing it with your friends. So it's like as if you're on the phone, I think you had said, it's like you're on the phone with a friend and you're doing something. So it's productive meets, you know, something that was scary for you. So we do things in a very productive way. So we do work, break, work, break kind of deal so that you're doing stuff, but you're also having fun because you're with friends, you're talking in the breaks, or you're, you know, we're ha we play music and stuff like that. So that's the biggest thing right now is it's called the BYOC parties. And then I do my intensives with my clients because a lot of the time it's, for me, it's easier to see, and for my clients to see that immediate result mm -hmm. that wants that, that, you know, allows them to continue. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I like, I've done a couple of Heather's declutter parties now or bring your own clutter parties. And I just, I just think that it's a fantastic idea. Like who, who doesn't want to do something that you might, not feel that great about doing alone like have a friend to do it with you and somebody that can help you when you get stuck and get to that item where you're like do i need to get rid of this what do i need do i need to decorate it like what do i need to do with it exactly. and so, yeah you have heather there to help you out and i really encourage you guys to get plugged in um heather i love everything that you're doing in this world and i really appreciate not just what you're bringing to everybody but you know the encouragement you brought to my life to get myself on track in an area that um i feel like i'm i'm often like a jack of many many things and um but this was never one of them and I, <laughs> I appreciate you making me feel like um, I'm not a complete hopeless person in this area oh, and that I can't no, do absolutely it. Not. Yeah, I, I appreciate you know you encouraging me and what you brought in my life about it too. So I really appreciate everything you're doing um, in this area. I think it's really needed. Yeah, well, I you know what, honestly, you have been doing amazing and <laughs> just the fact, and that's the thing is you start a few and then all of a sudden it just becomes this habit and you'll, you'll actually literally by the end be like, before you bring something into your life, into your space, you'll be like, is this something that I need? Is this something I actually will, you know, want to bring into my life? And you'll second guess before you go and, you know, purchase it. Right. It'll so, be, do I want to bring this all in in my house now and meet with Heather again in six months? Or do <laughs> I, <laughs> what do I want to do? Choices. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> Thank oh, you so much, funny. Heather, for being here today um, and for sharing with everybody your passion, which I think um, is not a common one. And but um, but I know that uh, there's going to be so many moms who are going to benefit from this, um, and knowing they have somewhere awesome to go if they need some support in this area of their lives. Awesome! Thank you so much for this opportunity. This was awesome. fun. We're going to talk soon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> have a good day, Heather. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're interested in surrounding yourself with fabulous moms, just like the one we heard from today, or becoming a featured mom yourself, I encourage you to join us in the Moms Online Mastermind. You can find out more about our community at www.momclub.online. You're a mom that I believe can make a big difference in this world. We'll see you next time.